Even in a software-defined world, we can't get away from architecture. By the end of this video, we will be able to list the components of the SD Access architecture. We still need physical components in order to bring a software-defined infrastructure together. So in this video, we're going to explore the physical equipment, and then we'll also take a look at how Cisco breaks down the software-defined access architecture. They break it down into four different layers that describe different network services. So we'll take a look at that as well. So remember, we have this concept of the underlay and also an overlay. The overlay is going to be the logical topology that we get to decide using those tunnels in order to create a software-defined fabric. However, the underlay is the physical equipment on which that logical topology is built. We also need to keep in mind that there are controllers at play, and these controllers are going to do the logical configuration for us on top of the physical equipment. So what does some of this equipment look like? Well, first of all, this underlay is going to consist of a lot of the same equipment that we already are familiar with. So for example, we have switches and routers, and then we have wireless LAN controllers and wireless access points. This is how we're going to build our physical underlay. Now again, these devices need to be configured by the controllers. So what are these controllers that are doing the configuration? Well, the first one is a device called the DNA Center. DNA stands for Digital Network Architecture, and it is part of Cisco's vision for software-defined access. DNA Center can be abbreviated as saying DNA-C, although when we write it out, we say DNA-C. As of today, DNA Center is a physical controller that needs to sit inside your network somewhere, usually inside the data center or maybe at the network core distribution layer, just depends on the environment where we're going to put it. However, as of the time of this video, there is no virtual instance of a DNA Center. We need a physical appliance sitting on our network in order to do this configuration for us. DNA Center is really at the core of a software-defined access infrastructure. It's how we're going to do our management. Remember we talked about how we will manage it via a GUI interface. Well, DNA Center is that GUI interface that we're logging into and making changes, usually via a web browser. Now there is one other controller we need to be aware of, and we mentioned in the last video. It's the Identity Services Engine, or ICE. ICE is a security platform that's going to focus on the I right here, identity. Remember, we want to be able to track where individual users are, not based on their IP addresses, but based on their devices or based on their location. So ICE is going to handle the security elements and help us lock down our software-defined access network. ICE can be deployed as a physical machine, but can also be deployed as a virtual machine into your data center environment. So at this point, there are three main components we need to be aware of. First of all, the physical network equipment, which could consist of, again, switches, routers, wireless controllers, access points. Second of all is DNA Center as a controller. And third is ICE. These are the three main components that are going to comprise the architecture of software-defined access. Now, if you'll recall, software-defined WAN had four different planes that we had to learn. And just like SD-WAN, SDA has four different layers that we need to learn. The first layer is the physical layer. This layer contains the physical equipment that we've already described. Next, we have the network layer. The network layer consists of the overlay and the underlay. Really makes up the control plane, the data plane, all of the policy configuration. Everything that's part of either the overlay or the underlay will reside in the network layer. Next is the controller layer. As you might imagine, this is where the controllers live. So when it comes to this layer, we're focused on DNA center and ICE. And the fourth layer is the management layer. Now the management layer is where we talk about having the GUI access, for example, into DNA Center, but also those REST APIs. This is where we can leverage the programmability elements of software-defined access in order to script configuration changes and, and automate our processes and so many other different ways that we can take advantage of programmability. Now I know we've been harsh on the CLI, but there are times where we're still going to use this in this environment, and Cisco does say that the CLI is part of the management layer. Now this is a good overview of the software-defined access architecture. However, over the next several videos, we want to drill deeper into these layers so we can fully grasp the architecture that Cisco has built. And with that, you are now able to list the components of the software-defined access architecture. I hope this has been informative for you. I'd like to thank you for viewing.